Hey Man Cavians, this is Bob from the Bob Zensko Man Cave, and today we are reviewing this Rapido Auto Flood 3 coal hopper with a removable coal load, and it comes with a magnet too. Let's go check out this thing, because I've heard some things about it, and I need to see it for myself. Let's go. Well, here we have the infamous Rapido hand scale version of the Auto Flood 3 coal hopper. This has a removable coal load with a magnet and everything else to pull it out with. It is uh, a kind of a more expensive uh, car at $38.99 or $39, bucks, $41, something like that with tax. Uh, it's a little, uh, little high for my taste, but we'll see how the details look, and maybe it is kind of worth uh, the price you're paying for that. But this has been known for having an issue with it rolling freely and it seems like there was some binding issues so I purchased one of these to see well what is the issue and can it be fixed so we're going to take a look at what's what with this particular model after taking the lid off it comes with a uh, little freeform plastic piece here it comes with a, a magnet bar here we'll take a look at that and a little uh, cellophane wrapping comes out. Set that off to the side, put a little bit closer look on it here. And you can kind of see the coal load is right there. Uh, the coal load does come out and you can tip it upside down. And it looks like there's a magnet right there in the middle. So you don't have to actually pick it up, you can just use the magnet to lift up on that piece of metal and up comes your coal load. Uh, inside of the empty, right there, you got uh, some bracing in here to hold up the coal load. And it might actually be like that in the actual hopper as well, uh, with uh, a little some uh, reinforcement. And as you can see, you can read a lot of the lettering on the side. Some close-up magnification, you probably can really see that. I can't see that with my naked eye. I really have to zoom in on the sides of it to get it, get some better light and so forth um, when you zoom in. But all in all, it looks uh, pretty nice. A lot of uh, placards on the side. Even uh, this orange marker side here to show which side the um, rotating coupler is on, which this does not come with a rotating coupler, however. Uh, you got the ends look pretty uh, detailed as well. Step ladders and uh, walkways and a couple of cut levers. Everything looks pretty nice. Uh, same thing on this other side, and so forth. It looks like there's roller bearing uh, wheels. Got the little blue marking right there. Looks like they're roller bearings, but they're not real. Uh, but it looks good. Uh, the bottom is very detailed. Wow. It looks really uh, nice underneath there. Got these uh, doors here for dumping out the coal. Those look pretty good. And the wheels, they don't seem like they're, um, they're spinning. Uh, they just don't spin very long, but <clears throat> we'll take a look. These do seem uh, pretty uh, loose, so that's good. They're not too tight, so it shouldn't be a problem with that. So let's uh, take a look at it rolling down the track. So before we uh, get it rolling down the track, we'll take the, the magnet here and see how it pulls this coal load out. That snaps on pretty good. It's pretty tight. And uh, putting it in is probably going to be a little difficult. I mean, you can dump it back in there. But you got to kind of hold it in place and readjust to make it drop in there. Let's see how it rolls. It's not really free rolling. 
I do hear like a, a click click noise as it rolls. Should have gone off screen. Yeah, you really have to push it, but it, it's got some drag to it, that's for sure. So, we're going to take a look at the detail and why um, some people are reporting why this is dragging while it rolls. Okay, I don't know if you can see this or not, but on that back wheel here, right here, the screw that goes into the coupler box, it kind of sticks out a little bit too high. And I was told that uh, by the Rapido reps that the screw sticks up a little high during manufacturing, they just didn't uh, get it screwed down tight enough. And that they said to just screw it back down so it gives the axle more clearance. And I don't know if you could kind of see that it sticks up a little bit higher. It's all black, so it's really kind of tough to see, but there we go. It does stick up a little bit higher than it should. And so I'm going to uh, screw it back down and uh, see how it looks. But I can get a little nice jeweler screwdriver in there. There, now it sits down a lot farther. It doesn't seem like it's making as much of a problem for the axle anymore. Probably tighten it just a little bit more. So it's more sunken down into that uh, box. Uh, let's do the other side as well, because that kind of looks like it's up high too. Um, sometimes things from the factory don't get tensioned like they should. And so things like this happen. Uh, like they may have had uh, someone who was just a little bit too soft on the screwdriver when they're putting these things in. And that does look a little bit better. Okay, let's see how this runs now. Oh, much better, much better. It kept on rolling. Oh yeah, that's the fix. Oh, went off the, almost went off the track this time. The end. Yeah, this rolls a lot freer now. So, all in all, once you fix it, these things should uh, be very nice on your layout. Um, you can get a whole box of these. I think that you get uh, six of them in a box, or you can buy them individually. Uh, kind of pricey, but they are nice. These do look really, really good. So, if you do have problems with some tension on here, like these aren't loose enough, you know, you just loosen up that screw right down here on the truck. And if, once you get them, check the screw on the coupler box and screw them down. Make sure they're uh, more flush because they were loose. Well, there you go, man cavians. Time for my final thoughts on this Rapido Auto Flood 3 coal hopper. This is an amazing little piece of rolling stock. It's got a nice weight to it. It's got highly detailed sides, the ends look great, the bottom looks even better, and the cold load comes out. 
using this magnet. The couplers, um, the coupler boxes were a little loose. Now there's a screw in the bottom, you gotta screw it in. Because the wheel here on the end would hit that screw and basically slow down, put a little drag on the wheels and cause some problems. So just tighten it down. Don't over tighten it though. Because when you over tighten it, the couplers get a little tight when they're on the sides and they don't start to snap back. So just put it a little snug and back it off a little bit once you get all the way down and these loosen up, they don't uh, lock in place. So just make sure you just got your couplers centered and they will couple up with your other rolling stock just fine. Other than that, uh, the price is a little high, you know, $40-ish plus shipping if you have to get it shipped or buy from your local hobby store, you got tax. So, you know, it's actually, what, $38.99, you know, at the local hobby store that I got it at and, you know, 41 bucks or something like that with tax. So, all in all, it's a pretty good coal car. I like it. I might get a couple more as well, just to make sort of a small set. Uh, who knows? I might get, I might get the other four, five, to make a full set. If this is your first time visiting the Bob's Enscale Man Cave, consider subscribing down below. Also, ring that bell to get notified of future videos like this one. And if you like what you saw, give me a thumbs up and leave a comment down below. Tell me what you liked, what you didn't like. And as always, Man Cavians, happy mall railroading. You stay off those tracks. Bye.